I woke up yesterday morning, I guess, ready to face the day, ready to go. And I had a lesson that I needed to get for Sunday morning or this coming Sunday. The sun was shining. It was it was a pretty day. But somewhere in the day, I become distracted. I began to feel ill at ease. Maybe anxiety, maybe fear that began to creep in. We hear the things on TV. We listen to people talk about things. Whatever it was, it, it began to take over my emotions and my feelings. And I often find myself in a position that I'm supposed to be the one offering comfort. I'm the one that's supposed to be offering some kind of strength. And I say, I think that each person who is in a, a leadership role finds themselves in that place. But it's not just us. It's every child of God who will often find themselves in that place of offering comfort and offering the things that are needed. And we find ourselves falling short. We find ourselves sometimes without the ability or without the willingness within ourselves to be able to do the things that we see that we need to do. What I began to think on yesterday evening was that I was experiencing, what I was experiencing was not fear and anxiety, although that was there. I found that I was doubting God. You see, our battles are often fought in this world against the physical things. Maybe uh, this pandemic, maybe the government, the control of others, maybe what we even see as a loss of our freedom. We seek to fight those battles. The problem is, is these are just tools that Satan uses against us to bring in that doubt of our God. You see, our battle is against Satan and evil. I want us to look at Joshua, the first chapter, verses 1 through 9, as I read from the Bible. It says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and your people into the land that I am giving you to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, just as I promised Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river of Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according all that is written in it for then you will make your way pro for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not fight and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go I want you to notice that God did not tell Joshua that his leadership or that this his leadership would be a place of ease. It's much the opposite. We know that they would have to face earthly battles to accomplish the Lord's will. He would have to overcome many things, but the greatest battle was to remain faithful to God in these times. Remember in verse 9 it says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. As children of God, we must remember this thing. 
Paul says to the Christians in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. We're to stand strong in the faith in that we belong to God. We are his children. Standing against the wiles of Satan is attacks that make us doubt our Lord. It is his attacks that make us begin to doubt the Lord. He says, stand firm in the faith. Believing that God Almighty is there to care for us each day. In Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse 5 through 6, we're going to start in the middle of 5. He says, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? We can call upon God. We will fight many battles in this life that are physical. Some we may win and some we may lose. It is, however, this battle is the battle to remain steadfast in God and to strength. It is our spiritual life that we seek to keep. We seek to be faithful to God. We seek to remember God, knowing that he is able, knowing that he is willing, knowing that he loves us as children of God and that he will care for us. But it's our spiritual life we know that he's caring for. Physical lives happen. Difficult situations come about and some of them we cannot win. But he said, I'm there. He said, I'm there. No man can take that from me. As long as I am seeking God, as long as I am trying to or striving to live in him, as long as I am willing to give myself over to him, God will take care of my soul, my eternal life. I, was, I must remember as a child of God, this is the thing that's important. This is the thing that that gives me confidence to live in trying times and difficult situations is knowing that I have an eternity with my Lord and my Savior. In Psalms, the 27th chapter, verse 1, he says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? As I looked at these verses last night, I began to realize that I had let myself slip into this worldly thinking that I must win all of these battles, that I must know every in and out, that I must be able to do these things. No, these are God's battles. These are God's battles. He knows what is before us. He knows that as children of God, he's here to care for us. But he's here to care for our spiritual being. He is here to help us remain strong and remain faithful. And these things that come about are things of nature. They're things that come about because of the sins of the world. God will help us remain strong in him during these things. Remember this phrase that he gives to Joshua, be strong and courageous. Live for God, give him the glory. And, and no matter what's happening outside in, in the realm of our physical lives, God is always good. No matter what happens, God is always good. He cares for his children. He sees to their eternal life. And he gives us the strength to endure the things that we face each day if we would just take a hold of them. I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to look about and I want you to see the good things that are happening. I want you to, to look out and see the sunshine. Take a minute or two and just step out and, and observe nature. But more than that, 
I want you to ask God to give you the strength and the courage to continue on and see if it doesn't lift your life. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. We will try to put on something tomorrow night for a class, a, a Bible class for the Door Church of Christ. We thank you so much.